Well, Higson Middle School cultivates curiosity through what teachers call organic learning. Parents got to see what that curriculum is all about at a recent student showcase. We think you'll agree. This is a holistic example of what's right with our schools. in for a treat. So this evening we're actually being part of our student showcase night and so we're, we're actually able to uh, showcase the awesome teaching and organic learning that's taking place in this building. This evening there'll be some performances from our strings and our chorus and band. And then as you can see down this bustling hallway here, there's uh, all the core classes as well. We're studying natural disasters, so everybody had to create their own escape plan, where they would go and what they would take with them. So this is a showcase of the students learning. We're using Scratch program coding thing to control this robot, and I'm going to draw a circle with it. With organic learning, you are talking about being in a school environment where natural learning is going to take place, where curiosity is going to come out of engaging questions that the teacher offers through the lessons that are prepared that allow for the students to be able to explore new avenues. When it comes to traditional learning, um, so often parents and students think about what it was like to just do worksheets that were standardized and just prepare for a test at the end of the year. Now we're in an age where people are beginning to question more, they're beginning to have more discussions, have more thoughtful um, discourse in regards to uh, the deeper conversations around what they're learning, the topics they're learning. We have this poster right here, and we're talking about the regular price of an item. The question is, the regular price of an item is X dollars, and the sales tax on an item is 6%. Which two expressions represent the total cost in dollars of the item after sales tax? My goal is for the parents to see that at one time we had students in school when they were younger completing a worksheet, doing a spelling test, getting that gold star was how we did how we determined um, that they were working hard in school. Now our students are no longer children, they're becoming young adults and we see them growing and we see them having to utilize things like with art. For me, when I look at the art that they do with Mr. Weger, um, I see him giving them a topic and allowing them to have free flow creativity. Um, when I look at the classes, I see that these students are going to have writing portfolios that will follow them throughout their entire career throughout Hamilton County Schools so that it can be used as a reflection tool to see their growth and how far they've come. You now, if you know something positive that's happening in our schools, we would love to hear about that. Log on to our website. It's WDEF.com. Simply click on the What's Right With Our Schools link and fill out the form.